I'm here with Floyd Mayweather's new prodigy, Caramel Moten. Pleasure having you on, man. What up? How you doing? And look, obviously, you're turning pro. How has it been making that transition from amateur to professional? Uh, it's been great, you know. I feel ready. I've uh, been in the gym, putting in work, and uh, just listening to my coaches, my team. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm ready to put on the show. It seems like you have more of a pro style than, than an amateur style at this point. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I, I agree. I feel like since I was a kid, being brought up, I've always, you know, I've been taught by professional coaches. And they've, uh, I've always had a pro style. In the amateurs, sometimes they don't see it as much because i got to fight at a faster pace with the three rounds and uh, based on how the judging is. But I feel once I make my debut, people are going to see the skills I really have and uh, how my style truly is. Floyd Mayweather himself gave you high praise by stating he sees himself in you and you could be the one that surpasses him. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's amazing that he believes in me. and I've been, in, I've been putting work in the gym. You know, I've been showing it. I've been, uh, he see me work in the gym. And uh, I feel like that's why he says that. He see me spar, he see me train. And uh, he believes I could be, you know, next big thing in boxing and I know I can so yeah. what's your thoughts on Floyd Mayweather pushing you to have a pro debut against a world champion in Lee Wood uh, I'm ready for that you know I was I was real excited for that I was real ready to uh, put a whooping on Lee Wood but you know he turned it down so we're gonna fight the opponent that we're given and uh, we're gonna work our way to Lee Wood I guess so what's your thoughts on Lee Wood rejecting Floyd's offer to fight you <laughs> uh, I mean, what can I say? You know, that's a duck. And uh, he said he, he'd rather fight Floyd. He's looking for a payday. But I'll be his biggest payday, too. So at the end of the day, I got to call that a duck. What would you say are your best attributes as a fighter? Uh, my counterpunching ability, my speed, my reflexes, and uh, my boxing IQ. Yeah, so can you just kind of describe more of your style to people that have never seen you box before? Uh, my style is like, I don't really have no one set style. If, I, if I'm fighting somebody that's a pressure fighter, I can box. If I'm fighting a taller opponent that trying to you know, keep me outside, I can put the pressure on. So, you know, I, I, could, do, I could do a whole lot of things. Uh, it just really depends on the opponent that's in front of me, how I fight, what style I use. What was your amateur record? Uh, 144 and 6. Okay, obviously you are 18-time national champion, yeah. number one in the world at your age and weight class, which is highly impressive. Are you looking to, hey, one day break even Floyd Mayweather's record as a pro? Uh, yeah, of course. That's uh, what it's all about, you know, the future, uh, the next generation taking over and, uh, you know, doing better than the uh, last generation, always improving. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I can definitely do that. I believe in myself. I know Floyd believes in me, my team. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what the future holds for me. So, uh, who, who are some of the people that you spar with that the public might know of? Uh, a lot of big names out there. I've uh, I worked with Tank. I worked with Shakur. I worked with Robisi Ramirez, uh, Shushu, Keyshawn, Keyshawn Davis. Uh, I worked with well, I worked with Duke Reagan. And... Uh, I just recently worked with a uh, dude from Japan. He won the world as an amateur. I forgot his, how to pronounce his name, but he's one of the main spar partners for the Monster. And they told me that him and the Monster are like head to head, almost okay. evenly matched. And uh, yeah, it was real good work. Well, let me single a couple of fighters out. How was it sparring against uh, Tank Davis and Shakur Stevens? Uh, yeah, it was great. I learned a lot with them, you know, and uh, it definitely gave me a lot of confidence seeing that uh, I was in there hanging with them at the age that I was and uh, as an amateur and I feel like that gave me a lot of confidence especially going into the pros because them is the best guys out right now and I, I'm able to hang in there with them when I was 16, 15 so you know yeah that's impressive that's impressive what what did uh, if anything what did Javante Davis and Shakur tell you after they sparred you like what what, what, what advice did they give you uh, Shakur he he uh he had told me that I'm one of his favorite amateur fighters and that uh, I got a lot of skills. And I could uh, I could beat a lot of pros like that's like champions or prospects right now. I could beat them and uh, 
when he told me that, that, that definitely gave me a lot of confidence too. Cause I know he's been in there with a lot of them guys. He's fought them, he's sparred all of them. And so he knows it. And then, so yeah. Can you describe the difference between the two, the two as far as tanking, sparring tank and Shakur? What, what was the difference between them? What makes them unique in your in your eyes and your experience? Because a lot of people haven't been in the ring with them before. Uh, yeah, it's, it's two totally different paces. Uh, Shakur is more like a constant pace. He takes his time, but he's always like in your face, putting his range fighter out there. Tank, he more, he move around more and he wait and he explode with shots. He likes to fight in uh, spurts. So it's it's different, but it's all it's all good work. And, uh, it's all learning experience, and this helps me get better. Well, let me ask you: out of Devin Haney, Shakur Stevens, and Javante Davis, who is it that you going that you think is going to come out on top out of that out of that whole mix? Uh, it's hard to say. All them guys are really skilled. I feel like as of right now, the two I mean the the best. Out of them three, I'd have to say it's between Tank and Shakur. They, uh, I feel like, like Shakur said, at the end, it's going to be them two. they going to run through everybody else, and it's going to be them two at the end. So I feel like that's how it's going to go. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Okay, lastly, if, if Crawford, switching gears, if Crawford moves up three weight divisions to fight Canelo, who would you favor in that fight? Uh, I, favor, I favor Crawford. But I feel uh, Crawford, he has the boxing ability to beat Canelo. Canelo will probably be the, he'll be the bigger guy and uh, stronger based on weight. And uh, But Crawford has the skill and just the footwork to be able to beat Canelo.